Oh boy, another day playing some good old Splatty tunes. I heard that there were some updates that took place. Hopefully they didn't touch the Stingray. Master Ray, stand up. Eh? Eh? Oh, I'm not funny. Anyway, let's check and see. Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm a Stingray user. I'm a certified backliner, but I dabble in any and everything that has a Stingray. Being a Stingray user has been quite the rocky road for me. First, we had undisputably the worst special in the entire game. What? Where's the additional radius? How's anyone supposed to use this? And then we got yelled at for using what was quite possibly one of the best special weapons in the entire game once the Stingray got its monster buff, being the increase in its radius and the ability to actually hit mobile opponents. But of course, our reign of terror had to end when we got that huge nerf recently. I'm absolutely disgusted by the people who dare celebrate the nerf of the Stingray. Oh, just you wait, little mortals. Your puny hamster balls and Fisher Price balls will have their day, and I will laugh and laugh and probably cry as I also like using those specials to panic since, you know, Stingray ain't a good panic button. <laughs> enemy go away! I have a wife and kids, what get us on the splat zones we scare the enemy far away from the zone, clam as we don't even let the opponent think they can pick up that power clam, and don't even get us started on tower control and rainmaker. So help me if I've got a Stingray and it was overtime, you might as well stop while you're ahead. We'd have so much range on our side that we can make snipers look like Spooshomatics. The weapons that come with the Stingray are absolutely marvelous. You can use the .52 Gal Deco and be not only a close-up threat, but a threat from afar. There's also the lovely Spot Charger and Splatter Scope that not only have awesome range and bombs, but you can also exterminate opponents foolish enough to think a wall is the key to being safe from you. Oh, look at you doing the little wall gag. Boy, I have some news for you that'll be a quite a sting to hear. Are you ready? Silly willy. There's numerous weapons that have the Stingray and are like peanut butter and jelly with it, including... Oh god. Nogami. Put it away. Put it away. What scum of Inkopolis approved of this? Sheldon, what the heck were you thinking when you crafted this monstrosity with just kindergarten materials? Boy, oh boy, us Stingray users are divided into two categories. There's the people like me who actually know how to use the weapon, and there's the pfft casuals who have no aim with these things. When I pull out my good old Ray, expect at least one kill out of me. I'm not like old Billy over there who's blindly shooting people with the Stingray. Come on now, one person. I've been getting bites all day, but I haven't been able to successfully kill anyone with these. Our rays are great on skinny maps like Port Macro and Walleye Warehouse, and even on wide maps where you've still got some awesome perches to pick people off from. If there's one thing that angers me though, it's the counters to the Stingray. These little rats called Spoosha Max continuously have these stupid 10 missiles always ready to fire at me. I can't even get the blaster ray off half the time because there's either missiles chasing me or people chasing after me. Overall, Stingray is an awesome special that the developers have tried hitting down time and time again, but they must realize that after they gave us the very first generous buff, we will never be stopped. And in fact, do you want to know the best part about Stingrays? Well, I'll tell you, the best part about Stingrays are the parties. Work it, y'all. Work it. Twerk, 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 twerk.